When it comes to canned foods, be it food that is meant for your cat or prepared for human consumption, extreme heat can cause some issues. If canned food is placed in an area where the temperature is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit for a considerable amount of time, the contents can spoil. In fact, anything over about 80 degrees can pose a threat, as the meal composition can begin to change as the nutrients within the can starts to break down. While this topic could seem a bit strange, as you might be thinking who would ever store cat food in sweltering conditions, it can happen, especially if you buy in bulk and a portion of the purchase remains in your vehicle for several days. When it comes to the risk factors, here are just a few things to look for with respect to questionable cans and questionable contents. Be observant with respect to the outward integrity of the can. Are there obvious bulges and bubbles on the surface, noticeable dents? As the contents do begin to spoil, the breakdown of the ingredients can cause some degree of expansion as pressure builds. Similarly, be on the lookout for leaks. Punctures to the can caused by the conditions can cause the contents to leak right out. And finally, keep that nose busy. Even if the can looks and feels normal once you pop it open, Give it a good smell. If something just smells off and totally foul, do not, under any circumstances, serve it to your cat. Thankfully for you, if the cat food has spoiled, you'll know it. Unfortunately, it'll likely be a smell you won't soon forget. Always store your canned cat food in cool conditions. Anything in the ballpark of your natural home temperature should do just fine. And keep the cans away from direct sunlight just to stay on the safe side. And before I put this video to bed, another quick piece of advice. If you open canned cat food, easy for me to say, canned cat food, <laughs> say it three times fast, write it down in the comments below. If you open the food, even if it's just 100% fresh, always store it properly after a portion has been served up to your cat. Never allow it just to sit out in the open air for an extended period of time. Utilize, and this is what I personally do, Utilize a rubber can lid, also known as a pet food lid cover. They're just a couple of bucks. You can find them at most any store. Those lids can safely fit on the existing can. And this will keep the food fresh until the can has been totally emptied. So that'll just about do it for today. The take home message is rather simple. Treat your cat's canned food. There it is again. <laughs> cat's canned food the same way that you would treat your own canned food. You wouldn't allow a can of green beans to sit out in the sun, would you? Well, of course not. So, treat your cat's food with the same type of respect. My question to you, do you have any positive tips on how to properly store canned wet cat food, both unopened and opened? Do you have a few tricks of the trade that has worked well for you over the years? If you do, let me know in the comment section below. Why? Well, our cats deserve the very best, and they depend on us to meet those needs Fresh food, that's one of the most critical needs. And with all that said, I do thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to join us right here at Senior Cat Wellness. Did you like what you heard today? If you did, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, you know how it goes. We will talk to you later.